sucked. Posers. School sucked. The Northridge earthquake sucked. Middle school sucked. Big time sucked. Like, it tried to level us all, but it didn't, so it sucked. Being a girl sucks. Being a boy sucks. Bleeding sucks. Whitehead sucks. Tampons. Popping pus on your back. Stuffing the brawny guy inside you. Oxy pads? Like, why? Why? Oh, I run off my clothes now. Accutane sucks. TSS. Dry skin, chap lips. Smells like hell. Blood tests every two weeks to make sure my liver isn't exploding. Why? Side effects are liver damage, depression, and suicidal tendencies. Like, why? You already suck. Side effects? It's like we are being forced to do things when all we really need to do is scream. Well, the first time I read it, I couldn't believe how fast everything happens. Like, once the play starts, it's like this, as AIDS likes to say, our director, it's like a big snowball that's just going towards something. Um, so that's a challenge as a performer. And also, the way it's written is pretty brilliant. It's like Shakespeare, but teens. It's almost like a Sorkin play for little kids. So it made it really hard to learn, but once you figure it out, it just kind of does a lot of work for you and it's so much fun to say. And also to be that girl, I was not that girl in high school, so now I feel like I'm getting to do it, which is fun. Adulthood, 10,000 years later, we haven't advanced much. I mean, there is the Hoover Dam, the 747, but internally we are still beasts. You talk, buddy. Shut up, I'm getting to my point. So we inflict the pain on ourselves in a much less ceremonial way without supervision of our elders, and that is what leads us to a life full of pain. Now, the bloods and the cricks have had it right. They jump their young members in. But out here in Canova Park, it just, just, just sucks. Yeah. But the hardest part is like being 13 and then realizing that at 13 you think you're just, you have it all together, but you're horrifically insecure all the time. And like whenever you get equal footing, you lose it. And it's like, I started to bring all of that like into my normal life, which was real weird. <laughs> and I think, I don't usually do that, but like being a 13 year old, it just reopened all of that. Oh, I remember what it's like. That was a horrible feeling. Oh, the first time you told someone that you liked them sucked. Um, so that was, it was fun and also real scary to go through that whole discovery process again. Your libido is waking up for the first time. You think about sex every three seconds. I'm not sure I do. No, you do. You just don't know anything about sex. You have this enormous desire, but no way to channel it. Before, it was, you know, it's, it's really easy to feel like a 13-year-old, I don't know, because like, it's just, you, like I said, you're better at covering up those feelings. But those raw emotions of being a 13-year-old just like still live with everyone. You know, it's just, we're better at covering it up, like I said. But really the challenge was just getting into that mindset that like Kurt Cobain and all those 13-year-olds in 1994 were in. So I just, we even created a playlist. We just like listened to a whole bunch of, of music and I think I listened Nevermind maybe, maybe a hundred no, times. And all just those pictures. Over, and all the pictures. I mean, we've got a whole like email chain going back and forth of just 1994 paraphernalia, Sadness. things like that, yeah.